Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at network graphs and visualizing them with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file. And we'll call this uh, uh, Bokeh Network Graphs.py. And we're going to be utilizing some uh, Karate Club graph data. This is a pretty uh, relatively famous data set. Uh, so this is actually... Um, uh, they actually call this a Zachary's Karate uh, Club graph. And again, it's built in with Network X, and that's actually what we're going to be using today. So let's import Network X as an X. And then we're also going to do from Bokeh, uh, Bokeh.plotting, we're going to import in here figure show and from Network X. And then let's go on and create up some uh, graph G, nx dot uh, karate club, karate club graph. And then let's uh, create up some plot. Uh, uh, P is going to be our figure here. And let's uh, give it a title of uh, karate club graph. Uh, and then this is going to need an X range here of uh, negative 1.1 to 1.1. And this is going to be for both the X and Y range in here. So negative 1.1 to 1.1. And then we also want in here um, tools. We're not going to have any of them. And then we want uh, to get rid of our toolbar as well and again this is just going to be um, a relatively simple graph in here um, and what we want to do is actually um, we'll we'll make some pretty nice um, improvements to this graph uh, once we get the uh, the basic graph done so we want to also make this a scale in here we'll do two and we want our center uh, to be at 0, 0. Um, p.renderers.append in here our graph. And then we should be able to show our plot. So let's take a look Oops. at our graph. All right, and so here we see that we have our, whoops, our network graph in here um, now this shows again it's 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 nice to see okay but again you have each of our nodes we have our links and again this isn't we haven't added any customization in here so it's just plotting out the basics of our karate club graph again it's not even zoomed out correctly so we can see everyone so we're going to want to be able to add in um, maybe some interaction uh, policies that we want to see here. So let's say that, because um, again, some data that we have that wasn't shown um, earlier was, for example, inside of this network graph data set, we have in here um, a lot of extra um, information. So for example, we want to be able to say like what type of club it is, uh, what type of relationship maybe do they have, um, so we do have we do have this club graph. So we want to add in um, a couple things in here. So let's go on and say from a bokeh dot models. Uh, let's import in and we want some tools. So let's do um, a, a box zoom tool. Uh, we want to grab in a circle because we're actually going to want to change the size of our nodes. We want to add in some hover tools in here. Um, and let's go on in, and I don't know why it did that. Uh, let's put them all in one line. Um, we want the multi-line tool. We also want plot. We want a range 1D in here, and we want a reset tool. So then if we, if we mess around with everything, so we actually don't need these. Okay, and then let's also go in and grab some colors. Uh, let's do palettes. 
we're going to import in here uh, spectral four. And I think uh, that's going to be all of our imports that we're going to need for this. So we've already created up our graph. So then the next thing that we want to do is actually um, have in something like if they're in if people are in the same club we're going to give them a specific color and then if they're in a different club we're going to give them a, a different color that we want to highlight okay so same club color in here and this would be um, actually you know let's uh, go on and make both of them at the same time uh, different club color in here and let's say that we want them if they're in the same club we want them to be uh, navy and if they are in a different club we want them to be fire brick okay so then they're very very poignant whenever they're showing out when they're in a different club and then uh, these are actually going to be edge attributes and uh, this is going to just be a dictionary um, and so let's go on and actually uh, create up a bit of a loop here. So for a start node, an end node in here, uh, and then there's actually another attribute in here that it has, uh, in graph.edges, um, and we want to grab the data is equal to true. So we actually want to loop through that data. Um, Why don't why doesn't it like this? Oh, it's because we haven't actually used it yet. That's fine. Um, and it's not from, it's for. That's probably why it doesn't like it. For our nodes, uh, start node, in node, in our edges, uh, we are going to set our edge uh, color is the same color if our nodes Uh, start node and then we want to go inside of that graph and we want to grab the club is equal to here our graph dot nodes and then we want the end node club oops lowercase club uh, and then else in here we want in here different club color. Now, um, I'm doing this just all in one line because of uh, some ease of use, okay? You don't necessarily have to do this in in oh, one line. This is uh, basically, in here, you can think about this as um, um, a tuple, okay? Um, or also um, creating up a uh, list uh, comprehension, okay? So this is technically a um, tuple comprehension because, again, we're not putting anything in. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to want to do in here is set up our edge um, attributes, okay? And then we will set this uh, something like um, we want our uh, start node and our end node, okay? And so notice here that this is this is a tuple uh, grouping that we're having because we're having um, it's each connection between each of the nodes. So we need a a start node, an end node, or an A or a B that are going to be connecting to each other. And then it would be, for example, uh, also maybe A goes to C, A goes to D. So then you can have like a star pattern or something. Um, so then the next in here then is that's going to just be that uh, that edge color. Okay, and so that takes care of our colorings. And so then now we need to add in our NX dot our set edge attributes okay and so we're using the graph G we already have our edge attributes and then uh, we are going to set that based on the edge color um, now the next thing that we're going to do is go on and show our plot so uh, karate club graph um, and let's say we want to add something with this uh, with uh, club coloring maybe or with edge coloring okay 
Uh, and I think that's actually going to be going to be fine for what we want to do. Um, but we do want to. We're going to actually have some tools. So let's get rid of that. Um, and so let's go on and actually create up some hover tools. So node uh, hover tool. Uh, and so we're going to grab our hover tools and what we're going to do is our tool tips in here. Um, what do we want in here? We want their index property and um, that'll be at the index. Then we're going to go to another one and we want their club that they're in and this will be something like at club and then that will be fine for that and then let's also add in the tools themselves um, p dot add tools and here it will do uh, node hover tool we also want the uh, box zoom tool that we've had before and we also want our reset tool so that we've added in our hovers Okay, so these are this is that interactive um, ability that we had before. Now we also want to add in um, a graph renderer, and so here we're going to actually go on and um, grab our layouts. Okay, so from network X, we want G, we want in it. Oh, actually, we already have that here. Um, this is this is here is going to be our graph renderer and what do we want to do let's actually just keep this as G um, scale we want to zoom out okay because before let me pull up notice here that this is really close we couldn't see all of the graph we want to zoom in and make it a one-to-one -one relationship in there so that's not zoomed in at all um, and so let's see here what else do we want to put in uh, we need to make in a node renderer, so we'll do our node uh, renderer dot glyph here and glyph, and we want to go on and make this a circle, and let's say our size here. Let's make them bigger, fifteen. We'll make a fill color in here. Um, to be our, from our spectral and we'll just put it at the first one and then now we also need an edge renderer and then let's grab um, our glyph and we want multi line line color in here is going to be our edge color uh, and then let's give it a little bit of transparency say 0 0.7 uh, and then let's go on and keep our line width in here to be 1 mm. and in all right I think we're going to be good to go so let's take a look all right, and so now we actually can see here um, that we definitely have a much better looking graph. The nodes are of si uh, different sizes. We have the index of each individual. We have the club that they are associated with. And we have these uh, different color. Um, uh, I want to grab the selection so we can see it a little bit better. So now here you can see here that these are definitely red and maybe I should have made them a little bit more pronounced uh, let me go in and change this color scheme in here instead of fire brick let's actually just make it uh, red that'll make it a little bit brighter there we go so now we can actually see it a little bit better so now we can see here that when we hover over everything we get whether they're a club officer whether they are uh, part of uh, like club is the Mr. High, um, then they have, for example, other different other different groups. And again, we also have our colorations, whether they share a club or whether they are not a part of the same club or not, which is also gives a little bit of um, dynamicism to to the graph. 
So again, I hope you guys like this. Please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.